Welcome back to Basin Motorsports. How many times have you seen on a forum, on Facebook, or anything else, somebody has changed the configuration of their belt on the serpentine belt or anything else? They've either deleted a smog pump, they've changed their alternating position, they've changed their power steering, deleted AC, and they've done that, and now they don't know what size of belt to buy. Well, it is only Wednesday, so I'm sure I've seen it at least three times this week. So today I'm going to give you the tips of how to measure for a custom belt size so you can go down to the store and get exactly what you need versus buying 17 belts. So we're going to use, of course, my V8 Mustang, the Wide Fox, and I have it also changed my configuration. So previously this car, or the engine I should say, that came out of this car had air conditioning, it had a alternator that was swapped out, it had... Uh, emissions pump and it had power steering so all of that stuff has now changed the emissions pump is gone the alternator is the same the power steering has been moved where the AC was because the AC is now gone if you've seen the image on the internet you know in this configuration it should be somewhere around 73 inches for a belt I'm going to show you how to measure for that so you can go buy the exact belt you need and we're going to figure out if 73 is the magic number. All right, so here's the configuration I'm starting with. You notice I have blue tape right there, which marks a string. Now, that line on the blue tape is where the end of the string is. It goes from the alternator. It goes down to the water pump, around the water pump, back to the crankshaft, up under the crankshaft, up over the power steering, underneath the factory tensioner, and back to that line. Now, one thing to keep in note, the black tape on the alternator is what I'm using to keep the alternator pulley from rotating. It's a lot easier if the alternator is locked solid so that when you put your tape on there and you pull on the string, it doesn't try to twist itself around and you can see where your line is. So just take some duct tape, lock your pulley onto your body of your alternator. That way it keeps it from, uh, keeps it from turning. Put your blue tape on with your mark, run it the way you need, and then I'm going to show you now how you know where to mark it. All right, so if you're using your factory tensioner, what you'll notice on the body of the tensioner right here at the white, there's a pointer. On the body itself, you see where it says range. I'm going to blind it right there in the light. See where it says range? It's got a min and a max. Now, when this pointer here is up here at the top, this is the minimum belt size, and this is where you want to start. Because as your belt wears and gets hot and cold in that, it's going to stretch, which will make the body go all the way down until this mark. So when this matches this, it means your belt, if it is not cracked, it needs to be replaced because it's at its max stretch length. So now with the string kind of dictating my routing of going through there, what you want to do now is you want to pull up the tensioner. You can just use a breaker bar and a socket on the tensioner, and you're going to use it. Go counterclockwise, which is going to make the tensioner rotate up. And it's going to go up to where your mark on your body matches the minimum side. Now, when the tensioner is held at that point, pull the string that's now routed and pull it right to the where the edge is, where the line is on the blue tape. That is going to show you an end-to-end -end length of that piece of string, and it'll give you an indication of what your belt length is going to be overall. Tensioner all the way up till it's at the white mark. Pull it and now hold it. So now with my piece of string, all I have to do is measure this from the starting point to the end point, and it tells me that this string length is 71 inches even from end to end. So that's my approximate belt length, 71. So now if you remember. The original number was supposed to be 73. That's what the internet says, that it's supposed to be a 73-inch belt. So my string measures 71. Which one's going to be right? Well, I figured I'd prove it out. So now keep this in mind, though. The string itself has a lot more stretch to it than the belt is going to. So when I pull it very tight, what I'm doing is I'm shortening it. So a 71 on a piece of string that's real flexible may end up actually being more like 72 to the 73 on the belt because the belt's not going to be able to pull in tension like that. 
So what I ended up doing is I went and bought four different belts. I believe I bought a 72, 72, 5, 73, and I think I bought a 71, 5. Now the question is, I'm gonna try all four, and the one that matches where my indicator matches right exactly where my minimum belt length is, that's what I'm gonna use. So let's find out which one's gonna be. All right, so the first belt we're gonna use is one that is 71.5 inches in length. So how you read this number, the 715K6, the 71 and the five means it's 71.5 71 in, 71 inches long. The K, don't really worry about that, it just means something. And the six means it's got six ribs on the inside. So if I flip this around, it's got six ribs right there. Now, the six rib is what it should be. And then what I ended up doing was I went into uh, the local store, told the guy kind of what I was working on, and I measured this. So I told him I wanted a 72 inch belt length, which comes up a 720K6, because it's six ribs. Kind of talked to him a little bit, and I just told him, you know what, give me four in that range. I want to try them all. I'll bring back the three that don't work. And he said, rock on, dude. Make it happen. So, here we go. 71.5 inch. Let's see if it works. All right, so the 71.5 actually looks like it's about right. You could probably go a 70 even, just like the string, or a 71 even, but 71.5 actually is going to fit right in the range. You can see it's right towards the minimum, and it gives you plenty of room for your belt to stretch before it needs to be replaced. All right, so next we're going to do the 72 inch, which is a 720K6. Give that a shot. All right, so here's the 72 inch belt. You can see it's almost out of range immediately. And I'll show you this right here. This is actually forcing the belt together. So if I started this, it's basically going to try and burn the self together until it snaps and breaks and flings it. So I tell you the 72 is already too long. I don't know where everybody's getting 73. It must be different than mine. I'll put the 73 on. Actually, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll tell you, 72 is too long, 71, 5. I won't put it back on there. I think that's going to be the start. And I may end up actually get a 70 to even make it shorter to guess, give myself more stretch room. All right, again, here's the 71, 5. You can definitely see how much gap is under there. There's a complete finger width under there. But again, a 70 is going to move this a little bit farther back. So I think a 71 even just like my string measured, is going to be perfect. All right, guys, so that's it. Now you know how to measure for a belt. Doesn't matter what configuration you need, you can always go measure. Lock it all up, use the string in the configuration, measure it, go to the auto parts store, tell them the size you need. Remember, the first three digits are the length. The K, doesn't matter. Six is the number of ribs. Three, four, five, six, whatever it is. Now, I told you the internet says I should use a 73 inch belt. 73, way too long. 72.5, too long. 72 even, too long. 71.5, still too long. It'd work, but when it stretches to a point, it's gonna rub and destroy itself. So the string measured 71. I am gonna go back and get a 710K6. Because a 715K6, where it is in this mess, is still too long. So that's it from Basin Motorsports. You now know how to go measure for a belt. No more asking on the internet. You have the tools. Make it happen. That's it, guys. Basin Motorsports out. Check back later. You're going to see the Wide Fox startup. Get ready. It's going to be glorious.